Good morning, Sunday, 15th July 2018. I'm at Fox Quarry. Looked like um, well, he was just turning up there, Courtney Lang. Today is round five of seven rounds of the GH Motorcycles Husqvarna ACU Eastern Enduro Championship. It's so quiet and peaceful here at the moment. I can hear the birds whistling in the distance. It's just gone half past seven in the morning. Oh, he's, he's come right up to here, I see. I parked up quite close, it's bone dry here. This long drought we had, not drought, but this lovely hot and sunny weather for ages. Today's event is on a hare and hounds format. And um, the organisers, the Sudbury Motorcycle Club, have reduced the time to two hours because of impending dust and the thought it's safe and from the guidelines we have they have received from the the national governing body, the Autocycle Union, known as the ACU. And after this the uh, one o'clock the main event will start at ten AM at one PM we're starting the youth hare and hounds. It's the third one this year and that run for one hour. But here it's so quiet very few vehicles but you'll be packed full. See banners there slightly moving, it's a slight breeze somewhere if you can find it. Bring on the action. An hour has passed since I've been here, it's just after half past eight. You can see Luke Parker going through in the park firm A. If you turn round you can see a lot of vehicles. Still some still arriving. Mark Green there, number 30. Remember this quite empty an hour ago. It's filling up quite nicely. The sun is up high. There's Baxter's friend. Still no sort of wind. A little bit on the Suzuki banner. His son won the title one year. I'm not sure. No, he's the 60s sort of period. Come on, you old coaches. Who's that? Who's that person there? You all know him. Come on, come up with his name. We're about six minutes away from the start. The championship cars are lining up there. They've all done their sighting laps. I think that some of them want to relieve themselves. I feel round, I'm hoping the a safe place. Number 81 took all the tapes down and pink posts out. Right in the finish area. Now hard to get back in. I'll give you a thumbs up if you want. Yeah, because I've got no word on it. So how long have we actually got? And there's three stuck in the box, so we might be late starting. 
but just uh, on the Looks like uh, number eight, Rob Nickel, got stuck in the bog. <laughs> but we are cutting that bog out. Well, I think we're waiting for number two to come up in the bog. Just going to check it. Of course, we are fast of a certain age. He's in the distance there. We are graced with the presence of Dave Nickel. He's Spanner-Man today, Dave from the 1960s, you remember, great rider, works, James works matchless, rode the Grand Prix for BSA, of course he's, one of his sons, Kirk, won the world title, the other son Aaron's here today with his son Rob, and uh, also Dave I believe was race director at the uh, Motocross World Championships for the FIM for several years. He's my generation. He's a few years older than me, but my generation. Okay. Just sort the last knockings out here. We'll be away. Get your helmet on, mate. <laughs> I knew you wanted to do that. We are away. Just missed them. The championship class is gone. The event is underway and there goes the experts with the obligatory time between each run. Expert veterans going next. So round five is on the way. Here we go! It's... Oh, he stalled it. Number 31 stalled. Electric start is not working. Has he got a kickstart? He's away, 31. There's two hours to go as yet. And there goes the Clubman. Number 50 went. We have started. We have started. The marshals are waiting to start. We're waiting for that last rider. There's a saying there's always one, but I bet he's a bit fed up. He'll be away. Just got to end up 26. Final group at number one. Jason Morland, number four. Luke Parker, I'm trying to find somewhere out the dust. Oh dear. Number five, Ben Cole, number seven, Ben Hughes. Trying to keep out the dust here. It's going to be dusty today. So, first lap completed. Who's that? 
number seven. No, no number, no, number three, number 21, he's well up. That's James DeBarker, 24, Jack Berry. It's between these two. Wow. Deb Eustace on film. And here comes, this must be George. That's George. 22. Number 20 there waiting, 32. That's Michael Ridge. <coughs> First expert veteran. Where's Gavin? Gavin Hockey. Those two are tied, literally tied. 35, 31 coming through. All frantically at the moment. I'm trying to read this number. 23, 33 there waiting, 44 is there. That's Gavin Hockey, 34. 47, that's Rob Aldridge. It's club and class, so he's cut through. 56. He's well up as well. 48 and 53 coming through. It's hectic, it's manic. And Joe Phillips is there, well, it's First time on his new enduro bike, 51, Joe Phillips. Just another manic Sunday, this is. Down by the bingo. 41 there coming through, 57. <coughs> All sides of the transponders. Warrior and 38. This is a long one, this is. Trying to keep out the dust. 45. 36 is slowly coming in. 52. 49 being big. Parking is another gate which is free. 59 there through followed by 95. That's Andy Mason. He's the leading club and super event so far. Number 50, 58, 65, 62, 61, four tie, 55, 85, 68, 67. I'm looking for 99 actually. Andy's really got through that lot. 27, there's 99. That's Gene Wilmax. Leader of the class. 27, 39. That's Max Day. 182. 37, 90. 94, that's Ryan Mays. 99 is the further thing. 80. Oh, he stole it. 88. Someone shows the wrong lane. 43. It's through now. 92 there. Oh, look at that, on the pegs. 89 is there, 86. 100 is there. 86, it said 100 is true. This one I can't read very well. 111, I think. 83. 81 and 54 and... And 82 is at the back of them there. Bring up here the rear number 60, I think. 60, yes. 60. Of course, I think it's about 54 that took a long time to get started. 91. That's it for the moment.